Yongho Hwa Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Joe, and I'm Cameron Word. Thank you for uh, tuning in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, and studying with us. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, there are a lot of people, as we say, always get new listeners coming in. And it's always nice to hear. And recently I had uh, a book giveaway last month. And um, one listener was like, oh, I'm a student. And I really like that when like young people join in and um, study with us. Because I know that there's like a certain age group that mm. likes to study with this program. Yeah. But I, wanna, I want the young people to come in. You know, English... Ability and skills, it's good for you. Yeah, yeah, we love listeners of all ages. Yes. All shapes and all sizes. <laughs> all backgrounds. Yes, that's right. So uh, anyway, welcome to anyone who has uh, just found us. Mm-hmm. And I just want everyone to know that we have a Power English book, a monthly book. So try going to your um, local bookstore or go online and look for our book. Studying with the book makes a very big difference. Yes. Yeah. And also, again, I'm at, uh, I have an Instagram account at the Kristen Cho, and you can also ask me for a free book. Yes. How do you spell Kristen, by the way? Oh, yes. It's the K-R-I-S-T-E-N-C-H-O. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So I hope to meet you there. Okay. We've got a travel dialogue today, weekend getaway. 주말 휴가 돼서 이번 달 계속 얘기했죠, right? Yeah. Would you be up for a hike? Oh. 뭐 hiking 하러 갈래? Yeah, yeah, it's an invitation to go hiking. Yeah. So, would you be up for? To be up for something is? It means to be willing, to be okay with the idea. Mm-hmm. Would you participate if I asked you? Okay, yeah. You want to go? Mm-hmm. Interested? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How about if something is right in your backyard? Does this mean like... You have a house with a yard? Well, no, no. it could be. Uh-huh. Right. But this backyard means close to where you live. Mm. Right? So it's not literally like your backyard. Yes. But just nearby. It's nearby. Okay. In your neighborhood. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Font of knowledge. F-O-N-T mm. of knowledge. This means that you are... Uh, a source of knowledge. Mm. You know a lot of things. Okay. Kind of now how we talk about like the encyclopedia or mm. something. You just can always go and learn something from this person. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue. Would you be up for a hike to the lighthouse today? I hear the view is amazing. Sure. I've wanted to go there since I wrote a history paper about it in grade school. Really? What makes the Williams Bay Lighthouse so special? For one thing, it's the oldest lighthouse on the East Coast. And it's also the first one with a woman as the lighthouse keeper. Who knew there was this much history right in our backyard? What can I say? I'm a font of knowledge about lighthouses. Please join us on page 152. That's where you can find the power dialogue. Weekend getaway, would you be up for a hike? You want to go for a hike? So Brandon says, would you be up for a hike to the lighthouse today? I hear the view is amazing. Okay. Uh, Are you up for a hike? Yes. Are you up for a swim? A walk? Yes. So this is a way to invite someone to do something. Mm -hmm. But to be up for something... Mm -hmm. Is two things. Two things. One of two things. Okay. Either would you be willing? Like, mm. do you want to? Do you not want to? Mm-hmm. Or it can mean, are you able to? Are you able to? Oh. For example, if you got hurt, let's mm. say you're you hurt your leg. Mm-hmm. Someone might say, are you up for a hike? Mm -hmm. Are you able? Are you able to hike? Is your leg okay? Yeah. So it's not just asking, do you want to? Mm -hmm. Ah. Are you capable of? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this isn't necessarily asking, do you want to? Do you not want to? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, will you be okay if we go? Yeah. Right? Yeah. They maybe want to do something Mm -hmm. else more. Mm -hmm. 
but still be up for a hike. Right. Or maybe you're not feeling very well. Yeah. You're feeling a little under the weather. Oh, you I'm, know? Not, I'm not up for a hike. Oh, I'm not up for a hike, but I'm up for a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's the key point here. It's not just like, you could just say, you want to go hiking? Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. But really what this is asking is that, are you able? Are you willing? Is it okay? Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. are you capable both physically mm-hmm. and Mentally. Mentally, yeah. emotionally. Right. Yeah. Right, right. So true. Okay. Lighthouse is one word. Yes. And lighthouse is. These are those little towers that are often by the coast or Tingde? another. Yeah. Tingde, right? Tingde. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So this is showing boats. Hey, there are rocks yeah. or there is there's a cliff here. <laughs> yeah. Don't come closer. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah. this is a way to show ships, Mm -hmm. that there is land there, right? right? That's right. Mm. And I think that uh, the coastal areas of America, United States, like Mm -hmm. the East Coast and the West Coast, there are lots of lighthouses, actually. Yeah, and there there are often uh, destinations, Mm. because a lot of them are quite beautiful. Yeah, So you hike to them Mm -hmm. uh, to take pictures, to Mm -hmm. see them. Right, right. Mm. Okay, Christina says, sure, I've wanted to go there since I wrote a history paper about it in grade school. So Christina says, yeah, I would like to go to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. I'm willing. And what does Brandon say? Really? What makes the Williams Bay Lighthouse so special? Yeah, because Christina just said, I wrote a history paper. Mm Mm-hmm. In elementary school, right? Yes. So there must be something special. Mm -hmm. What makes something so special? That is our power pattern. This is a pattern when you want to ask the reason for something. Yeah. And because at the end, so special is there, this what makes Mm -hmm. so special Mm -hmm. is saying, what is the reason Mm -hmm. this is special? Yes. Right. Right. Why? Why? Why is it special? (laughs) That's right. I want a very concrete, detailed explanation. Let's go there. It's really nice. What what makes it so special? What makes it so special? What makes it so nice? Maybe a hamburger place, you know? We have to go there. Why? What makes it so special? It's a burger place. There's like so many burger places in Korea. Yeah. Well, they make their own bread. (gasps) Oh. That's why. It's so good. That's what makes it so special. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. That is our power pattern for today. What makes something so special? What makes Power English so special? I think you do, Kristen. (laughs) The blood, sweat, and tears that you put into this show. (laughs) No, it's both of us. Uh, It's our special dynamics. uh, Okay, Christina says, for one thing, it's the oldest lighthouse on the East Coast. And it's also the first one with a woman as a lighthouse keeper. Mm. Okay, two things that makes it so special. It's the oldest and the lighthouse keeper, the Kualija, yeah. is a woman. Yeah. The first. The first woman. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so these lighthouses, mm. they used to be like houses. The lighthouse keeper just lived in that tower. Yeah, there's like a house at the yeah, bottom. Yeah. yeah, and they just had to go up every day and yeah. turn. Well, back when it was a fire, sure. they had to just like turn the fire on. True. Make sure it didn't go out. Yeah. Mm. All right, so then that's what makes it special. And Brandon says... Who knew there was this much history right in our backyard? Okay. So the lighthouse is not far from where they are. Yeah. And that's why he's like, Wow. It's such a historical place. Mm -hmm. It's so close by. Yes. And the expression is right in our backyard. Yes. Mm. So right in our backyard means close to where we live, close to where we are Mm -hmm. in our neighborhood. I think some Koreans may be familiar. Many Koreans are probably familiar with the term NIMBY. Yeah. Which means not not in my backyard. backyard. Yeah. Which is the same thing. It's not actually in your backyard, but mm-hmm. you're saying, I don't want this in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I don't want this near me. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's right in our backyard. It's like, wow, that's a historical building. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. It was right in our backyard. And Christina says, what can I say? I'm a font of knowledge about lighthouses. Mm-hmm. So she's kind of saying this a little bit jokingly. Yeah. Uh, what can I say is kind of like... Well, you know, mm-hmm. 
what is it? What does it mean? Like, what, yeah, what can, can I, I say? say? It's like, I don't, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> like, There's you're very nothing. acutely saying, like, I can't deny it. I can't. And the thing is, I'm a font of knowledge about White House, mm-hmm. lighthouses. She's an expert. Yes. This word font of knowledge comes from the word fountain yes. of knowledge, mm-hmm. but we shortened it and there are two variations. Yes. One is fount, F-O-U-N-T, but the more American is F-O-N-T. Mm-hmm. Both are acceptable. Yes, both are acceptable in American English. Here we have font, F-O-N-T, mm-hmm. but we are not talking about like like not the way that ah, yes. something is written. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are talking about like a, a fountain, like water coming out. Mm-hmm. So it's like you have so much knowledge. Mm-hmm. It's like knowledge is exploding out of you. Yeah. Like a fountain. Yes. The knowledge is like water. Yeah. Just coming out. Okay. It's like a fountain. You're getting a shower of knowledge. Okay. Yeah. So when you say you are a font of knowledge about something, it means that you are an, almost an expert. Yes. Okay. Let's listen to that one more time. Would you be up for a hike to the lighthouse today? I hear the view is amazing. Sure. I've wanted to go there since I wrote a history paper about it in grade school. Really? What makes the Williams Bay Lighthouse so special? For one thing, it's the oldest lighthouse on the East Coast. And it's also the first one with a woman as the lighthouse keeper. Who knew there was this much history right in our backyard? What can I say? I'm a font of knowledge about lighthouses. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages 154 and 55. If you are up for something, it means that you are willing, you are able to do something, to Mm -hmm. participate in something. Are you up for a little basketball? Let me get my sneakers on. Okay. So how's your condition? Like, how how are you feeling? You're you're ready to go. You ready to, you want to play some basketball? Let's do it. Okay. I was up for a hike, but it started to rain. Mm. Yeah. I was really like wanting to go on a hike and I was like in good condition, you know, I was feeling good. And so I wanted to go, but it started to rain. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what What other times could you ask this? Like, like it's a suggestion to do something. Um, could you use it with food? Like, are you up for... Are you up for burgers tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like whenever you're suggesting what food you want to eat, mm-hmm. you'd be like, hey, would you be up for burgers? Yeah. Would you be okay with... Yeah. Here, it's not saying, do you want to eat burgers? Mm -hmm. I think it is very important to talk about the difference between do you want to do this versus are you up up for it? Mm -hmm. If you want to do something, it's really what you're thinking about. Yes. Like, I, this thing is the thing that I want to do. Yes. If you say, I'm up for it, it means Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But I don't have to. Right. I can do something else. Mm -hmm. But if that's what you want to do. I can do it too. Mm-hmm. That is the difference between want and to be up for. Okay. There is a difference, everyone. Mm-hmm. So keep that in mind. Because sometimes when you look at the question, it may seem very similar to do you want to. Yeah. But there is that slight difference. Mm-hmm. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, right in your backyard or right in one's backyard means very close to where you live. Yes. So it's close by, it's nearby. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're building a new factory right in our backyard. I heard about that. It means more jobs for people in the community. Yeah. So not literally in Mm -hmm. your backyard, but it's like right in our neighborhood. Yeah. I can't believe they're filming a movie right in my backyard. Yeah, this again is probably not Mm -hmm. in your literal backyard, Mm -hmm. but maybe it's around the corner. Right. And this word right in my backyard, Mm -hmm. I think that word right plays a very significant role. In yeah. this expression, it's not. Oh, they're they're building a new factory in our backyard. That feels right. Of obviously, the context would be weird. Mm. But if you do not have the right, mm. I do think it's actually your backyard. Yeah, right. right? If yeah. you only say in my backyard, yeah, I think you're saying your backyard. Literally, my literally. Backyard. Yeah. But when you add the right to it, right in my backyard, mm-hmm. feels more like. So it feels in the neighborhood. like paddle. Your yeah. pet. Mm. The Kim. Mm. Mm-hmm. So right in my backyard really feels very close 
but not your actual backyard. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the feeling, right? Yes. And this can be used on a larger scale. Every once in a while, you know how countries, they have war and yeah. they have things. Right, right. So it might be like, oh, they've got soldiers right in our backyard. <gasps> Meaning yes. the, the enemy soldiers are right next to the border. Very close. Right? Right. Not in the country, but mm -hmm. right next to our country. Right. So depending on what you're saying, mm -hmm. it just means it could be on a small scale or a big scale. Yes. But it just means that it's quite close. But it can only be as small as like an actual house neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, we're in the same room. Right. I can't say, oh, you're sitting right in my backyard. No. Because you're literally in the same room with me. You can't. So when it gets too small, you can no longer use this word. That's it at right. least has to be outside. like a na outside neighborhood. That's right. Sort of situation. Very good point. Okay. Um, font of knowledge or fount of knowledge means that um, you are kind of like, you have all this knowledge. Yes. Okay. I heard you and Tom won first prize at the pub quiz last night. Yeah, that guy is a font of knowledge on everything related to music and history. Mm -hmm. Meaning that they have a lot of knowledge in music and history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this happens a lot in American and like UK kind of pubs, mm. places like this. Yeah. They have special nights where it's like a quiz night. I did not know that. Did you not? Yeah. They do. Like you, it'll be like Wednesday night is like trivia night. Mm -hmm. And like you can play the game. The whole bar plays the game. Cool. And then the winner will usually get some type of prize mm -hmm. or maybe free drinks. Mm -hmm. And the people that are fonts of knowledge. Fonts of knowledge. They're always answering all the questions correctly. Oh, you want them on your team. You do. Mm. I think like if I were to play that at a... At a pub, I would like Cameron on my team. Well, here's the thing. You are a font of knowledge too, Cameron. But if the category is popular culture, uh, if they're asking about pop music, true. I'm useless. Oh, no. You're, <laughs> that is not true. Okay. My grandfather is a font of knowledge and is so fun to talk to. Isn't it? Yeah. Some grandfathers, grandmothers, mm -hmm. they just like remember everything. Yeah. They know everything, mm. especially history. Yep. Okay. So do keep that in mind. A power pattern is what makes something so special? Tell me why, why? it's special. Okay. What makes your mom's apple pie so special? She uses vinegar. Oh, okay. I don't know. Brown I don't know what that, like this brown sugar. Maple sugar. I don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. What makes Whitehaven Beach so special? Their sand. Really? No, no. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know, some sand, some beaches have, like, white sand. Yeah, sure. Or, or really black soft sand. sand. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Lighthouse, right? It's Tunde on page 156. There's a nice uh, description there. Do check that out. And please stop by Udio Ohakdang. Pay a very small monthly fee, and you can listen to Power English again and again and again forever. Yes, yes. Okay. Have a great day, and thank you so much for studying with us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>